Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. First of all, I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewer watchers. If you've been wondering how to subscribe, should I subscribe to Mr. Bell Kitchen? Yes, you should. Mr. Bell has some nice good videos during the pandemic, showing people how to cook in the pandemic. Nice and easy. You can cook with your kids, you can cook by yourself, or you can let your kids cook while you're at work. Today, I'll be doing something different in this Power XL. Today, as you know, I'll be cooking in this Power XL today. For all my first-time viewers that don't know how to subscribe to Mr. Bell Kitchen, been thinking about it, that's all you have to do. Ding! And you are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Today, I'll be using this Power XL for the first-time viewer watchers. And you're wondering, do this top come off? Yes, this top do come off. Today, I'll be taking this top off right here and just take it off nice and easy, just like this. One wiggle, put it up, and out go the top. In the meantime, I'm going to put this to the side because I won't be using it. And today, it's nice and clean. As you know, I wash it out, put it back in the box when I get through with it and put it up. So today I'll be using it again. It's nice and clean, as you see. So today I'll be doing something different in here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to heat up this right here and put it on fry and heat up my grease. Let it get nice and warm. Wow. I'm going to set this on fry. Set it on fry. The temperature is going to be at 375. That's 375 for the temperature. I'm gonna fry it and I'm gonna set it for 45 minutes. And I'm gonna press start. And in the meantime, it's gonna circulate and I'm gonna put my all in here for what I'm gonna be doing today, something special, something old school. Today I'll be doing it in the Power XL to see how it come out. I'm gonna pour me just a little oil in here, just enough to just to cover what I'm cooking today. And you don't need that much. You just eyeball your cooking oil, put it in there like that, and let it get nice and so warm. So while this is heating up, I can tell you what today I'll be doing. Today I'll be cooking, frying some Jack Micro Crow Cats. I'll be using two cans of it. I'll be using two cloves of garlic a half a stick of celery, and a fourth of onion, a fourth tablespoon of salt, a fourth tablespoon of seasoned salt, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, and one cup of flour. You can use whatever kind of vegetables you want to use in your crow cats. But when I was coming up, we only had like two things we used. That's the black pepper and the salt, maybe a little celery, something to kick it off, and a little onion to give it that nice, good taste. And, and it tastes good back there. I'm telling you, croquettes, I haven't cooked in a long time. This was good, so a lot of people use Simon, or you can use whatever you want to do to make the croquettes. But today, I'm going back to the old school. So, get my bowl over here. And I'll be using two eggs. Yeah, so my eggs are sitting off to the side. I'll be using these two eggs. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get me a bowl for this juice. So I can just pour this juice, right? I'm not gonna be using this right now, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Put my bowl here for the juice. And, the, the, and this right here is so easy to cook. You can cook this on the stove. And a lot of my cooking recipes, you can cook in the oven or cook on the stove, but I'm just doing it on the, in the Power XL just to show people different ways what you can do it in the Power XL. So I'm just gonna pour this juice right in here. I wouldn't be using this juice. So I'm gonna put it in there. And I'm just going to take this top off just like this. Put it off. Take these out and put them in here. OK, 
Okay, we want to get these bones out. A lot of people cook with the bones in it, cook the bones because they're very soft. They're not going to hurt you. By the time you mix it, mix it up, you want no bones in here. So I'm just taking, see these bones? I'm just taking them out, put them in here. Just take it out just like that. And take this one out, like you see. Put it in there. And get the rest of them out. And just take them out, just like that. You know, a lot of people been leaving different comments what they want me to do in the power XL. So this is what I'm doing. Just going down the line. I'm just going to smash this up. You just start smashing it up just like this. Just like that. Just smash it up. This right here be good for lunch with some rice or whatever you want to have it with. Grits rice and that with some eggs and this is nice sometimes i just like to eat them like this when i'm just sitting down or anything just grab it off the stove and eat it okay it's ready for the food already so i had to get started you see it's beeping and say add food so i'm going to pull this juice out Nice and easy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this one in there. Put it in there just like that. Put this. I'm going to just open this up and get these bones out. Just like this. As you see, these some. Nice big marker. Just take them bones out. Put it to the side. Take all of them out. Just like that. It's nice and big too. Take this one out. Take it out. Just like that. Just like that. So if you have some of these sitting at home in your closet, that's all you have to do. You wonder what you want to do to knick that on? Just get it out to the closet. Start making some progress. And I, as you see, I'm just mixing this up nice and good, just like tuna. And I'm mashing up real nice. Get everything nice and good. Mash it up just like that. So what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start putting my seasoning in here, my vegetables. And stuff. So what I'm gonna start off with this garlic right in here. Just put all that in there like that. Put my celery in there. Like I say, just something to give it that nice little crunch too. Usually people saute it before they put it in, but I'm just doing it like this because the fry it make it soft. And you kind of want to crunch, and you kind of want to taste something a little different. I'm not going to saute them today, but I'm just putting it in like this because when I fry them, they're going to get soft. So, and then you'll be tasting different kind of greens in I'm just going to put my black pepper in there just like that. Put it in there like that. My seasoning salt. And my salt. So I'm going to mix up all this together. Just mix it up nice and good. Just like that. Mix it up. See how, how they're coming out? Just mixing up everything in there. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put my egg in there, my two eggs. Pour it in there just like that. And just 
get this nice, good and soft. You don't want it too wet. Yeah, just like that. This grease is getting hot, so these babies are going to be sizzling. It up just like that. See how good that's coming out? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my plate here and I'm gonna just pour this flour in the plate and just put it just like this all over in the plate, spread it around. And I'm not gonna make these patties too too thick. I'm gonna get it just enough. I'm gonna just put this over just like that. Give me some in my hand. As you see, it's nice and good. So it's just like making a patty, just like this. Just like making a, if you want to make it for not hamburger size, but just enough just to pick up. Put it up like that, put a little flour over it. Put it back like that. like that. Get another bit, put it in my hand. Like that. I want it too thick, you don't want it too thick. And like that. Put it over here. Put a little flour on it. Just like that. And I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put this one in. See that, just like that? As you see, and I'm gonna just sit it in. That grease is hot. You put it in. You go another one. Like I say, it's it's, they're going to be delicious. Make another one. Just like that. In the meantime, I'll be letting them cook. Okay, you see how this is frying nice and good? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip them over. Just like this. So as you see, they've been in there a while. So we flipping this over together. You know, Mr. Bell like to take you step by step. And this right here is taking you step by step. Step by step. Just flip all these over. You see how good they coming out? These are gonna be delicious. And like I say, for all my first time groups, I've been getting a lot of comments. People have been saying, Mr. Bell, I'm glad you mentioned, wash your dishes as you go. Wash the dishes as you go. This is cooking, you could be washing your dishes. Don't leave it for your spouse. Don't leave it for your roommate. Don't leave it for your kids. Everybody might be hungry, but everybody might be scared to have to wash dishes. If you're washing yourself as it's cooking, everybody will enjoy your food. So wash the dishes as it go. That way it don't be no argument, no nothing. People enjoy it. And plus, they're going to have a lot of excuses now because school started back. Oh, I have a lot of homework. College kids going to say, oh, I don't want to cook. Can you cook? Or they might make a trade. You cook, I'll wash dishes. Just, just like that. Like I say, in this Power Excel, it's a lot of easy things to do. And this is cooking real good. I just want to show you. It's coming out good. This is the Jack Marker. And we making these croquettes today. A lot of people use Simon or uh, whatever you want to use, but this is what I grew up on. We're just going to flip these over one more time. Just like this. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Flip it over one more time. Get it nice and good. Just flip it just like that. 
You see how nice and good they're coming out? That's, that's, that's going to be delicious. And what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to get some paper towels sit on this plate right here to take off some of that excess grease and everything. So, right in here on this plate right here. So, right in there. But mostly I had a camera on this because I want you to see how, how they're coming out and how many you can put in here. You can put about six in here. And a lot of you have been leaving a lot of comments and I hope I've been answering the comments to the best of my knowledge to help you out. I appreciate all the good comments you've been leaving and just keep it up. So these just about done. I'm not gonna cook them no more. Just smash them like that a little. Let's see, oh yeah. Smash them just like that. Flip it over. Now that is delicious. So what I'm gonna do, these are, Mash it down and cook it inside. Yeah. Okay, it's been, I had it at 45 minutes. The temperature was 375. And it's 23 minutes left. So 23 and from 45, that's, it's been 22 minutes. So, and it's done. Just took 22 minutes. Like I said, a lot of co college kids is watching me how to cook in the Power XL. This is good. They don't have to use, spend a lot of money. They can buy their stuff and just cook it right in the Power XL. Easy. I'm going to take these out and sit them right here on this plate. Take it out like that. Almost look like hamburger patties. And I'm gonna let this cool off. Take them out, they looking good. Oh yeah. Take all these out. I'm gonna press cancer. I'm going to take this out and it's, and it's done. And these are your Jack Micro Croquettes. If you like it, subscribe, leave a comment in the box. That's all you have to do. Leave a comment in the box. And if you like it and don't know how to subscribe, wonder how to subscribe, ding! And you are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. These Croquettes are very nice and everything. These are the Jack Mark. When people use Simon, whatever they want to use to make croquettes, but today I did it the old school way. Thank you and hope you enjoy.